Weissmeyer Abbott, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to chatting. Yeah. Describe Pinecrest, Florida for me, please. What is the community like? What are your biggest challenges? So Pinecrest, Florida is a municipality of Miami-Dade County. So Miami-Dade County is this big. It has 34 municipalities and we are one of them. Um, we're a suburb of Miami. It has about 18,000 residents. We're 26 years old. We just celebrated our 26th anniversary last week. So we're very proud of that. Uh, we are, some still consider us a semi-rural community. We are very family focused. We're school focused. It's a wonderful place to be. I grew up there. Uh, it's just night and day from when I was there. I, I understand that one of your governing philosophies is cradle to grave. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the cradle part. What's the role of government in early childhood learning? So it's interesting in Pinecrest because our school system, our public school system is actually Miami-Dade, so it's a bigger picture. But we work so closely with our schools. We have five public schools in Pinecrest. We have uh, an education committee that we meet monthly with our principals, with our school board, with um, the whole district. We have parents who are interested. We give yearly grants to our five schools of $10,000 each. So there's a real tight connection between our local government and Miami-Dade County Public Schools. What's that coordination like? What, what lessons, what guidance might you have for other public officials who also have to do that type of coordination? Because any effort like this requires working across levels of government and then also with local community members. Absolutely. I think it's all about reaching out and making connections and getting to know your representative. So for example, our school board member. I know her well. I can email her. You know, we've talked. We, you know, we're very open. And I think sometimes even elected officials are hesitant to reach out to other elected officials. Yes. But you really need to keep that line of communication open in order to get things done. What is the Pinecrest Youth Advisory Council? It's my favorite. So well, tell me about it then. Please. I, I am so proud. I co-coordinate our Pinecrest Youth Advisory Council. It's 24 students who live in Pinecrest. They go to various schools. So they go to private schools, they go to public schools. Um, they're eighth grade to 12th grade, and they're just students who are devoted to learning about government, number one, and number two, giving back to the community. So they volunteer at our events. Um, we hold workshops for youth. Um, anyone is able to come, and then we talk about topics that are of interest to them. What's of interest to them? What, what are they bringing to you these days? So, okay, so right before I came here, we had one on um, the environment and the changing climate. Um, we had a local executive director of an art facility come and talk about rising sea levels. We talked about elevation of the students' houses. They got to make a flag. That put, they put the elevation on it. They planted a mangrove. We talk about college interviews, 101, college hazing, topics that are of interest to that age group. How do you also navigate, because you're talking about a lot of important issues, sometimes personal issues, how do you navigate progress when an environment sometimes can become political. We see news from Florida, but Florida is not the only place. Right. Every state, every local municipality has its politics. How do you push past politics to make progress? Absolutely, and in Florida in particular, it's getting a little bit more challenging, especially with recent proposed legislation that we're trying to navigate. Here at the conference yesterday, we were talking about um, efforts that they were proposing that actually I might not be able to do going forward. Um, so it, it's very challenging. We're, we continue to work on it. We continue to do what we think is best for our community and our children. And we just, we can't give up, right? We have to keep doing what gotta, we need to do. Got to keep pushing forward. Now, yeah. you know that I cannot have a conversation with you without asking as well about Palmetto High School. Yes. And I understand that there's a debate team that has had a few stars a of few. which you might be among the most famous, but <laughs> absolutely maybe, not. <laughs> maybe not the most famous? Not the most famous. So our school, our local public school, support public schools, has produced many people who are successful in the world, including Katanji Brown Jackson, our current Supreme Court nominee. Jeff Bezos went there, he was valedictorian. Our current Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Murthy, yes. went there. Many more successful people, whether you know them or not out of this public school outside of Miami, Florida. There's a lesson there, isn't there? There's a lesson there. There is certainly a lesson there. We have to keep supporting our public education. Got to keep supporting public education. 
and got to watch out for who comes out of Palmetto because they might run a big yes. company or become a new Supreme Court justice. <laughs> Absolutely. Or, or a vice, Surgeon General. Or a Surgeon General. Yeah. Or a Vice Mayor. Or a mayor. NASA astronaut. We have one of those. We have one of those, yeah. yes. Or a Vice Mayor. Or a Vice Mayor of Pinecrest. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us Thank you today. so much. This was great.